It's a complex cocktail of sport and politics. It's the biggest game on earth. Oh, and Saturday, millions will watch arch enemies Real Madrid and Barcelona, two of the most successful clubs in history, boasting two of the world's greatest players battle it out in the 236th edition of the game dubbed El Clasico. Trailing their great rivals by 11 points in the league, Real who last week won the Club World Cup cannot afford to slip up at home if they are to retain hopes of winning the Spanish league title. Adding spice to the mix is the form of Lionel Messi, the all-time leading scorer in El Clasico history, who has notched 14 goals in 16 La Liga matches this season. Overshadowing his longtime foe Cristiano Ronaldo, scorer of four league goals in 11, and recent recipient of a fifth Ballon d'Or. But, as everybody knows, El Clasico is about more than goals, Galacticos and 88 years of epic football and rivalry. Real, meanwhile, were the club of the capital and widely regarded as representing the Spanish establishment. But how will this potent concoction of politics, sport and history impact those closest to the action? Here are the stories of those whose pulses quicken most for the spectacle one observer described to CNN as a cattle prod to the senses. The player losing to Barca feels like falling into the bottom of a well former Brazil international Savio played for Real Madrid from 1998 to 2003, making 105 appearances and scoring 16 goals. I've played in a number of big matches in Brazil, in France, and other derbies in Spain Zaragoza vs Osasuna in Spain's Aragon region, Flamengo vs Vasco da Gama in Rio, but none of these can compare to Real vs Barcelona. Everything about this rivalry is different, it's the biggest derby in the world, because of the quality of players on display, the greatness of both clubs, the history, and, most importantly, the political rivalry Catalonia with the independence issue and Madrid being Spain's capital. During the week before the match there's huge expectation. While you know that it's a match which will be watched everywhere in the world. As a player who came from Brazil, little by little I started to learn what El Clasico actually means to people. Before joining Real I'd follow the game in Brazil, but when you're living it up close, you learn more about the league, the rivalry, the culture, and I really got to understand what El Clasico was about. We didn't need the Spanish players to explain to us what the match meant, we could see for ourselves. My favorite El Clasico was one we ended 2-2 in the Camp Nou in 1999. It was a very dramatic match. I assisted two of the goals and dot I cherish this game a lot. Dot when you're in the stadium, be it Camp Nou or Santiago Bernabeu, there's huge pressure. 